Hello, um, today we're gonna do a gray paper uh, marker rendering, which is what your um, elevation should be on. And so first, I think before you do any of your coloring on your practice sheets, you should make swatches of things that you think you wanna use because the color will change because it's going onto the gray paper. Um, but that said, these are still pretty vibrant for going on gray paper. So here's the colors we're gonna use. And then here's the colors, same colors, but with, with the pencil. So the pencil is going to do a lot of the um, work for these. So you don't we don't won't be necessarily using three colors of marker for the gray paper drawings because the the colored pencils um, really bring up the sort of wow factor in these things. So today we're going to draw, we're going to color three different things. Um, one is the aquarium, that's this. Um, so I'm going to start out with um, Y050. And I'm going to color in um, the, the underside of this turtle. Underside of his little wing or fin, whatever you call it. Um, and then I'm going to color in this fish all the way. Okay. Then I'm going to take orange. And I'm going to color in this little Nemo fish. And I'm going to take, sorry, that was um, YR190. Now I'm going to take YR170 and color in these little anemones. I probably won't do all of them, but you know, I know a lot of you are doing sort of um, sea themed. Uh, type of things and so this is why I'm doing a little bit of an aquarium so you could make that much more dense if you wanted to um, I'm just gonna leave it there and then I'm gonna take um, G240 and I'm gonna make little shadowy fish back here very little detail and then I'm going to color in a bunch of the um, sea turtle, the parts that I didn't do in yellow. Okay. And yeah, that's about it. Then I'm going to take. Um, E300, and I'm going to give the turtle a few um, little shell things and also a little bit of wave on his flippers. Then I'm going to take my brown pencil. I'm going to go with the, the sea turtle and I'm going to give a little more expression to him, a little more detail. Not too much, right? Because you're, depending on where your aquarium is, you're going to want these things to fade a little bit into the distance. But enough so that we sort of recognize what it is. And I'll go back in with um, my white pencil in a minute. But first I'm gonna take um, my Micron pen, which is where, last three, right here, okay. And I'm gonna give the fish an eyeball. I'm gonna give Nemo a little stripe. I'm gonna give Turtle an eyeball, and then maybe, um, you know, differentiate some of his 
features a little bit. Now I'm not going to want to go in everywhere, but you know, just to differentiate his head from his shell, from his flippers, that kind of thing. And then for this guy, I'm going to use my black micron pen to give him little stripes. Then I'm going to take my white pencil, which I just have a little nub of right now, and I'm going to um, give some highlights to Turtle over here. You know, little shines on him, um, little shines on the yellow fish. Give Nemo his white stripe. And then with the anemones here, I'm going to take my um, orange pencil and just give those a little bit of weight on one side or the other, a little bit more detail. But again, you don't want this to be super detailed, but you do want it to, um, you know, be recognizable somewhat. Okay, I'm gonna switch from the aquarium to this circle, which is a hanging plant. <laughs> so let me uh, get in here. And when you're doing plants, especially if you're hanging them over an armature, you know, a lot of you, I think, are doing some plants on the ceiling. Um, you want to put the plants in first. So it never looks very good if you draw in the pot or the structure or the lattice or whatever you're putting first and then try and draw the plants over it. So you want to, um, it's more like a watercolor this way. So all I have is going to be a hanging, like, I don't know, that kind of wagon wheel shape I've seen some of you wanting to do. Um, and I'm going to put the, um, the greenery in first. So I'm going to take the G240. And because for this kind of thing I like to do the brush, I'm just going to kind of make some organic shapes. And have them hanging at different lengths. And I'm sort of going to the top of that little circle I drew for starting this, right? I'm not going to fill in everywhere. Some parts will be bigger. You know, and this can be really loose. Um, again, I'm starting from the top here. And then from the back, I'm going to start here and just have it wrap around like this. And then I'll do more detailing on that a little bit later. Now I'm going to take um, uh, let's see, what's this one? G170. I'm just going to go on one side just to have um, varying colors. And I'm not really coloring these with any sort of light source because um, I, you know, you'll you'll do your own with that. And. So when you're doing these kind of things, you want it to look full. Um, there's, it looks kind of sad when they're just like wispies and they kind of look like they don't have a lot of life. So these you, plants, you want to sort of um, have a gesture to them. Okay, I'm going to take the, um, which one is it? The BR2. And now I'm going to put the structure back in a little bit. So I'm going to do this.
take the um, G170 again, and I'm just gonna um, kind of bring these down on the other side so they look like they're hanging over. And I'm gonna do the same with the um, G240. Um, RV 070 and I don't want to go over the green but I want to because that'll make a muddy color because this is technically a compliment but I want to put in some little blossoms so that there's a little variation here Gonna um, go in with my um, brown pencil, and I'm gonna tighten up the little structure here. I'm going to go in with my green pencil and give the um, leaves just a little detail. I mean, not too much. You don't want to be able to see every individual leaf, but I probably do stuff like this. I mean, and obviously you can do, you know, there's lots of different ways to depict, you know, greenery. So this is just something I'm making up out of my head. But, you know, you can do whatever you'd like. And then I'll take my um, red pencil and just give a little um, differing color with the little pink blossoms. But, you know, you could just leave them pink. I'm just kind of goofing around right now. And this is the kind of thing that could actually include a light fixture in there, but I'm not going to put that in. Now I'm going to take a straight edge, and I'm just going to connect this up to the ceiling somehow um, with my black pencil. Where is that? Okay. So there's that. And the next part is a um, is a bar shelf and the bar counter. Um, so I have a number of things on here. So I'm just gonna decide, I think the bottles look really nice if you do, you know, like several different colors of pretty bottles. So I'm gonna, I think I don't have these in the order you have them. Um, so I apologize, but I'm gonna take Y12 and that's when I'm going to color this round one. And I'm going to take green to do the next one. I'm showing you with the markers and the pencils, but um, sometimes um, I have some white gel pens and sometimes the re doing reflections on glass and bottles um, is really pretty with the white gel pens, but you can totally do it with them. Um, uh, sorry, that was G170. And I'm gonna take 
WG05. I'll color this one. And let's go to chrome. And I think I'll do the green again. Um, G170 for this one. I will take uh, B380 and do this last one. All right. And then I'm going to take um, my V. WG01 and I'm going to color all of these. These are glasses. take my uh, blue pencil and I'm going to do a little bit of detailing on the blue bottles. And I'm going to take my brown pencil and same thing. Oops, that was not my dark brown pencil, is it? I guess it is. Okay. green pencil. Okay. And I'm going to go with my white pencil. My sad little white pencil. And then on these, I'm going to um, just bring them back a little bit from um, the gray to being more of a clear. And I'm going to have to do that not just with white, but I'm going to have to go back in with um, a black too because, remember, the reflection, they reflect all kinds of things. So it won't just be white, it's translucent. And then this one, we're going to make it be like white ceramic coffee mug and saucer. So, but when you're going to do colored pencils on this paper, always have a marker layer down as before you start your markers. You don't just want to do just colored pencils. It looks much better if you do it with um, a, a marker layer down like that. Okay, I'm going to take my Micron pen and going to... Give a little more detail to some of these sides and the bottoms. And again, no heavy outline around the whole thing. 
especially because oftentimes your shelves are going to be pretty far back in your um, design, so you don't want them to be super detailed. And then for this one, we're going to make that little napkin, make the little saucer, differentiate the handle. And then I'm going to take uh, G170. And I'm going to put in a little olive. And then I'm going to take my red pencil, give a little bit of pimento. And then with my micron pen, I'm going to give it a little toothpick. All right, so then the cupcakes. I'm gonna do chocolate. So I'm gonna take, um, where is that? I'm gonna take E300. V170. Um, R Y R one seventy. Seventy. I'm going to take my brown pencil. Take my pink pencil. Take my micron pen and tighten these up a little bit. Okay, there you have it. Have fun playing around.